I change the brake pads, start off by loosening the, the wheels. Now we're going to jack up the car. Now that the car's up in air, we're just going to remove the wheels the rest of the way. So, to take the caliper off, there's no bolt for the top, um, for the top slide, only for the bottom. So this is a 12 millimeter bolt. Remove it all the way, so like that. So get the screwdriver and then just put it in between where the brake pad is and the the caliper, and just pull it slightly so that way it can release from the. It's like pushing the piston back off the caliper, and then tilt the caliper up once you've done that. And it should be able to rest up there. If it doesn't rest and it keeps trying to drop down, then you can use it like a cord or something to keep it up. So as you can see, we pushed the piston back. So we'll leave that up there. With the brake pads, we're going to pull them out. They're a little bit stiff. You can use a, um, a screwdriver just to get in there. So next we're going to clean up this area with a wire brush and just scrape it off with a screwdriver and clean it up with some brake cleaner. So we're going to take these little retainers off, um, if your brake pads came with new ones then you can just get rid of them and replace them, um, but we're going to reuse them so I'm just going to take them off so that way they can be cleaned up properly and underneath can be cleaned up from the top and the bottom. So just get a screwdriver, pry them apart, and then we'll give it all a good clean. So once you've got it all cleaned up, get your retainers and then put these back in. Same with the top one, they just push in. Make sure you get the top bit to go in first because otherwise it's going to stick out. So put that in first and then like that. Now the top doesn't have a bolt that you can undo. So once you lift it up like that, you can slide it out, move the rubber off there and then you can slide it outwards. And then you can wipe this off with a tissue. Once you've wiped that off, then you can get some silicone grease. Give that a coating of grease. With the other side, you want to push the pin through and move the rubbers out of the way. 
come all the way out the other side. The other side can come out and it's all gunked up. So you're going to want to try and clean it, use some brake cleaner to help you. All the grease had dried out and it felt just hard and sticky. Once you've cleaned it, put it to the side. And then it's a good idea to give the hull a clean as well. Now we're going to get the rubbers and we're just going to put them back on. So to put them back on, obviously you can see where this little ridge is that needs to go inside. That's it, and make sure it's seated all the way around. We'll do the same with the other side. Now you don't have to clean these, you don't have to clean these guides. That's just only if you've got an uneven brake wear or they're feeling stiff that's when you really need to clean them. So just cover it all in silicone grease. And then we're just gonna push it through. Now wipe off any excess grease that there is. Make sure that the rubbers are still seated the way that they should be. And then that slides nicely now. Okay, once that's on, then we can get the bottom one and slide that back onto its guide. And then make sure that the rubber is sitting on top over its little pin bit that's meant to hold it in. So, okay, so once that's in, just pull it back up so we can get the pads in. Now this caliper is obviously, it needs either a new caliper or rebuilding. So we'll do that in the future, but for now we're just gonna put the new pads back in. Now the inner pad has one of these wear indicators, so it'll make a noise, so make sure that goes on the inside. So get some copper grease and we're going to put it onto the little tabs on the end. You don't need to put too much and make sure it doesn't go on the actual brake um, pad surface, just on this little piece. Doesn't need too much and do the same for the other side. It, and then we're going to put it in place so it needs to go in between the top and the bottom and then just goes in so that's in and then you can put a little bit over here but we'll put it on the on the inside of the pad now we'll do the same with the outer one And then we're going to get that so it's easy if you tilt it at an angle slightly like that to get them into position and then they will just push in nice and easily and then we're just going to put a tiny little bit there and there but only a really small amount and that's where the tabs of the caliper are going to make contact so slide the caliper down 
and over and then get the bolt and put it into the hole and then start doing it up and then torque it down to between 21 and 31 newton meters So get the wheel and put it back on. Get the wheel nuts and start doing them up. Now we're going to lower the car back down so we can fully tighten the wheels. Now just fully tighten the wheels. Now just go inside the car and pump the brake pedal a few times and then you're done. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more.